The presidential task force on COVID-19 has blamed the governor's traditional and religious leaders for allowing crowds to gather and break safety protocols during the election in Edo State and the burial of Senator Buruji Kashamu in Ogun State. The PTF at his national press briefing on Monday said it was dismayed by the development. Kashamu, who died on Saturday at the first cardiology consultant's hospital in Lagos from COVID-19 complications, was buried in his Ijebuibo home, hometown in Ogun State on Sunday, with a large crowd in attendance in defiance to safety protocols. Both the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party have also held campaign rallies in Edo State ahead of the September 19th governorship election. The national coordinator of the PTF, Dr. Sanya Liu, was asked about the large crowds at the campaign and at the burial, where social distancing rules were broken and many people failed to wear face masks. And we're now joined by Dr. Chimezie Uche, the head of medical collaboration services, Naveen Technologies Services Limited. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Thank you, Osaru. Uh, what is the implication of breaching COVID-19 protocols when conducting burial of a patient? Um, of course, if you've seen the video clip of the former senator, does that, uh, is that meant to be scary? Um, well, again, it's sad that um, we talk about these things quite often. The PTF talked about it um, at the, at the um, commencement of um, structuring protocols to manage um, cases like this during this COVID. Um, NDDC also, also talked about it. Um, from the very beginning, we learned that um, death as a result of COVID, complication, COVID or COVID complications will not be released to the families. Um, but unfortunately, the first um, person that um, went against that rule was the president's chief of staff. And afterwards, we've had other issues. We saw it happen at, it happen at um, Buju's burial. Um, there are no words to mind say it's, it's wrong. Yeah, that is, that is totally against the protocols in management of... Um, cases like, like like this you can see the mammoth crowd nothing was adhered to no social distancing a whole lot of people they, they, they wear masks especially when we when we when we got to know that this person died as a result of covid or covid related case uh, covid complications it's disheartening that at a time like this when the number is still on the rise we still have issues like this to talk about we thought that at the, at this this kind of at a period like this we should have you know, come over things like this. I know that when these things happen, there are later procedures to follow. Hey, but, but we're not. Again, it will boil down to politics and politics and politics. I think it's embarrassing. I think it's not nice at all. And I think it should be condemned. I, I think I wanna... the federal government, NDDC, PDF, everyone should rise up to expectation yeah. and put an end to issues like this. I, I, want, I want you to, you're Thanks. a doctor, and I believe that you've also dealt with uh, COVID-19 cases on the field. I, I want to know how much risk um, citizens have when they attend such rallies. And I'm going to also bring uh, up uh, the rallies, uh, campaign rallies in Edo State um, as they prepare for the elections on September 19th. Um, both political parties have been accused of also not adhering to COVID-19 protocols with their campaign rallies. Um, how much of a danger does this pose to citizens who attend these rallies? Okay, so um, interest, fortunately, unfortunately, I've not had to deal with um, COVID-related cases directly. Um, for us, is um, health system threatening, um, ensuring that our primary health care, secondary health care facilities, you know, um, services at those centers are fully optimized and they can withstand um, um, stuff like this or things like this. So I walk from back end. Having said that, everyone is, the, the literatures are everywhere. I mean, the discussions are everywhere. They are front burner conversations. Everyone knows the basic things to adhere to. Hand sanitizers, face mask, physical distancing, everything. We, we, it, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I have a four-year-old who can read, read out these things, you know, without, without being, you know, without being prompted. Everyone knows that. So even the campaign rally, I mean, that's another, that's another horror, for lack of words. You know, I, I saw on TV yesterday, um, from APC to PDP in Edo State, it's, it's embarrassing. 
okay, to 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 it, it's it's just it's just dastardly for for lack of words. I think that these things, I, I mean, every other industry or sector is trying to run affairs or run things without with with less physical con uh, contact. So why must there be rally? All right, why not push your stuffs virtually? Push emails, send messages. After all, we had Nigerian Bar Association had um, had elections um, recently, and, and and it was done online. Why can't we do? Why can't we try such? All right, at the central, why must federal government or even state government go against what she preaches? All right. Yeah. Imagine. So if if will they say a musical rally? Um, 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 will be okay at this, at, at this point in time because there's no difference between a musical concert and a political rally. Okay, right? So no. these things are these things are this thing should be condemned. This thing should not be allowed to happen. Um, suffice it to say that the health implications are horrendous. They are crazy. All right, look look, look at that video. It's 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 just disappointing because the truth is this: in a country of about 200 million plus, just yesterday, NDCC told us they've only been able to scream at 300,000 plus. That's below 0.1 percent. All right, let, let's, let's 0 .1, also... 0.01 percent yeah. of the of the of the uh, population of Nigerians have been screened, and yet we are still having this. I won't be surprised that the numbers will shoot up on the rise if more tests are done. If more tests are done in Ugu and Edo State, I won't be surprised at all. I think that it is important that these people at the political class understand the implication of this disease. That people are dying. That this disease is true. All right, and when yeah. it creeps into the community, and it it, it might it might as as it's done anyway, the 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 death rate might be more than we can envisage. Thank uh, you. Let me let me also ask about um, work that you're doing because you mentioned that you're doing a lot of work with um, um, boosting primary healthcare centers across um, those parts. So let me also ask about that. How much information do you think still needs to be spread uh, to the people if the political class is not ready to comply? Um, something must be done in order to save lives and to protect people from, um, uh, of course, uh, contracting these, um, the, the virus. So how much more work of um, information needs to be spread and, of course, boosting of public health centers, or primary health centers, I beg your pardon. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for asking this question. As already, the truth is this, we are, not, we are not there at all, all right? I've had the privilege of visiting a whole lot of primary health care centers across the southeast, is a sham. Primary health care centers where there are nothing, an absolute nothing that looks like um, a guard room or a prison cell. Okay. Now for us as an organization, we, we are looking at supporting state governments, help them optimize services being run at primary health care centers and and then secondary health care centers. What do we hope to do? We hope to provide modern medical equipment, human resource, technological solutions that can help drive processes. All right, so that your mother, my mother in the village, in Uguashuku, in Inisialangwa North, can approach, can go to a primary health care center and get an ECG done. All right, it's a shame that in the whole state, in the, in the, in the, in the state in Nigeria, no primary health care center has an ECG machine. It's, we go to, we visited a um, secondary health care facility. They have 11 x ray machines, 10 down. The one that is working, only about 20 or 30 percent capacity. All right. So uh, uh, the people in our political class should be a bit more sensitive. I, I take this opportunity to speak to governors, all right, to senators, so House of Reps members. There are a whole lot that can be done. Adopt a primary health care center, reach me via plus TV, and then let's work out something. In fact, some some state governments who told them, look, you don't need to, you don't need to even bring money, no funding, no counterpart funding. Just give us the political um. Just avail us the political will, all right? Ensure that this thing will not just, when, when, it's, when, it, starts, when, when it starts progressing, you don't just right. come with one policy and then because you want to steal or loot something, you just crash the program, okay. all right? These things can work. Some of us have taken time to go understand how it's run in, us, in other countries and we're here to implement it in Nigeria. Like I shared earlier off camera, I said, look, we have a local problem. We might not need expertise to come solve our local problems. We will need to dig in. Find out local solutions to solve our local problems. I, 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 I know if I mention the name of my organization, it might look like publicity. But hey, if senators, governors, House of Reps are ready, let them reach out to you. Reach out to me. And then let's work out something to help 
ensure that our primary health care center and secondary health care facilities can offer optimum service, you know, and then people at that level, people at grass school level can actually go to these facilities and okay. get the best of care. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I really appreciate it, Dr. Chimeze Oche. Thanks for sharing with us. Wish you the best, um, and I hope that there is some success with um, your journey. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.